So today is my fourth update video for the year. This is where I quickly go through the progress I made between this video and my last update. It's been three months since I last spoke about my progress in the video game, and I now have some things that I'd like to show you all today. Before we get into the meat and bones of this video, I would like to quickly talk about the state of the channel. My goal this year is to break into 3,000 subscribers, so I would appreciate a subscription if you haven't already clicked the button. My analytics are showing me that most of the people who watch my content are not subscribed, so chances are you haven't done it yet. I appreciate everyone who helps me reach my goal of 3,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Oh yeah, and follow me on X as well. Best way to interact with me is on Twitter, so shoot me a follow on there. I like to interact with everyone who follows me on there, so if you have an account, make sure to say hello. People walk around, act like they know what hate means. Nah, no one does until you hate yourself. You truly hate yourself. That's power. It's impossible for words. To describe what is necessary. You think I have nothing to offer but pain? Only I know you love pain. Pain reminds you the joy you felt was real. More joy then. So over the past three months, I have finished 200 million Rudokine experience on my main account. This has been a long term goal of mine that I've been passively working towards for a number of years now while I've been playing my other accounts. And after such a long time of AFKing Redwoods, I have finally accomplished 200 million XP for the third time in the game. The other two times were in the cooking skill on the same account and the other in defense on my free to play only account. In that same time, I have completed 99 mining on my hard man and 99 runecrafting on my group hard cryer man. Finishing these 99s were very satisfying because I don't do the efficient methods for these skills. I don't enjoy the methods so I tend to use slower ways of training them up. And of course, as of my last update video where I said I was going for 99 runecrafting on all three of my iron man, this was one of the three accounts done with, at least at the time. Unfortunately, not too long after I got 99 runecrafting done on my group iron man, I died and lost the final life on the account. I forgot that the account was still logged in whilst I was in the nightmare zone passively getting range experience while I was editing a video and found out it had died after I realised it had been disconnected. I am responsible for losing both lives on my group hardcore Iron Man project. I lost the first life all the way back in November of last year to a disconnect death at Dagonoff Rex. My internet went out and I logged back in to discover the account at Lumbridge. I don't have any recordings of this as I wasn't recording my screen at the time and of course I have just explained how I lost my second life. After the death I spoke to my group partner and we have decided to discontinue the project. So the Two Kings project has ended as of last month. We were ranked 16 at the time of our death and never completed the goal of the project which was to catch up and surpass the rank 1 team. If Andy from Vent ever watches this video, I'd like to take the time to congratulate you for winning the race. You were already maxed by the time the Two Kings project started around two years ago, but I know in my heart once I finished maxing Detachment I would have caught up to you. Now that the group is dead, there is nobody on that high school capable of catching you, so it's yours forever I guess. And so, with the death of the Two Kings group, my plans have changed once again. I am not multi-logging any of my accounts at this current time and for the past 3 weeks I have been focusing on maxing my cure. I got 99 HP earlier today and I have been alternating between Slayer and Agility over the past 3 weeks. With Slayer I have just been doing it for fun when I have got bored of training Agility and while I have been doing Agility I have revived my Ring Dragonauts to make some gold on the side whilst running around. I have made around 120 million GP in the past week since I started up my alts again and I am looking to make another 100 mil before they run out of membership. I think at the current rate that I am training my pure it will be maxed by October. I have no intention of reviving my other accounts and the guilt that I used to have about not committing to my group Iron Man isn't there anymore because of the aforementioned reasons so I am fully committed to maxing this account now. As for my other accounts, I have been burned out of playing my Iron Man accounts now that I have lost another hardcore. So hopefully I'll have that back again because when I finish the pure my plan is to look towards maxing my ultimate Iron Man. Serotonin is nearly maxed already so I think it's time to finish the account and then I'll evaluate what I want to do when I finish the UIM. 
I still want to get rank one gauntlet on this account, so that will probably be a fun project to come back to when both of my accounts are max. In other news, I also started a level 3 account. I got the idea in my head that I was going to go through all the viable skills while maxing my pure, and by the time I finished maxing, I would have finished most of the viable skills on this level 3. But I came to realize that I was going to run out of gold, which I've been using to buy bonds with for the past few years. So I'm putting the level 3 on the back burner as I'm not rich as I used to be as I was around this time last year. As some of you will remember, I left Death Row at the start of this year, which was the main source of my money making in the game. I used to go amazing with Death Row all the time when I was a part of the clan, but differences with certain members in the clan made me want to leave. And now that I haven't been making money like I used to over the past 6 months, I am nearly broke. This is why I revived my Rune Dragon Alts last month to make some GP whilst I maxed and furated. I am making a steady 6 mil per hour now that I'm using all 4 of these accounts, so it's a steady money making method but I find it incredibly boring and I can only do it for a maximum of 2 or 3 hours per day, which is why I've been alternating between Slayer and Agility. Last but not least, I maxed my 4th account in the game last month in Deadman mode which means I am now back to playing the game with the goal to max in every game mode. I'd given up this goal for the past 3 years which led me to getting into PKing but now that I have Deadman mode scratched off, I feel like going back to this goal and this is how I am now playing the game again. By the time that October will have come around, my 4th game mode will be completed, my 5th account will be maxed and sometime next year I will do the same with my ultimate Iron Man. After that it will be my free to play only account, the level 3 I started last month, my hardcore Iron Man, and now unfortunately I will have to begin another group hardcore Iron Man to finish maxing in every game mode. That project will definitely be my last one now unless I die again on my hardcore, and now that I have this track record of losing hardcores I guess it's likely that can happen, so we will have to see what happens. Anyway, this video is getting pretty long now and I've spoken about everything that I wanted to say. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.